Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to make a cool kind of hexagon slash honeycomb pattern in Substance Designer. You can use this pattern in a shader, you can use it as a background to a UI, you can use it in many different ways. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a completely blank shader graph, uh, and I'm not going to use any output nodes or anything. What we're going to do is we're going to be saving whatever node we like. So we're going to end up with a node and we can save that node using the 2D view on the bottom right. You can just click save. That's how we're going to save this texture. So I'm going to start by creating a polygon node and uh, you can set its sides to six, which I believe is the default. We're then going to grab a shape node and we're going to set its pattern to a paraboloid and that's going to give us a nice radial gradient. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a blend node down and we're going to put the shape into the foreground and the polygon into the background and we're going to set it to multiply under blending mode. So I want another hexagon but it's going to be the reverse gradient. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate the blend node and then I'm going to create a invert grayscale node and I'm going to plug the shape into that node and then into the blend node to get a different version of the hexagon. I'm then going to create a levels node because I'm not quite happy with this invert grayscale output. Uh, this will just let me adjust the levels a little bit for the gradient. Now we're going to create a tile generator node and under the options under pattern in the tile generator node, uh, change the pattern to image input and then once you do that you're going to get a slider for how many images you want to input and we're going to change that to two and we're going to plug both of our blend nodes into it and uh, you're going to see it's going to randomly tile both of those images. Now if we go down to position and tile generator node we're going to see an offset value and if we put that to 0.5 that's going to perfectly offset each row. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale under size and uh, I'm going to put that up just a little bit so we get a little bit of an overlap. I'm then going to adjust the interstice values just a little bit. I'm also going to change the blending node under color to max and that's going to get rid of any overlap that we have. And then one of the last steps under color, I'm going to uh, give it uh, some random luminance. And this kind of, you know, gives it a little bit of variation. And just like that, we have a hexagon honeycomb pattern that we can use in shaders or backgrounds and whatever you like. Uh, really easy to create in Substance Shader. We can uh, export right from the 2D view and we can change the resolution. There's many things we can do. Um, so there you go. Uh, until next time, keep learning.